Disgusting Food Museum is a collection of 80 of the world's most disgusting foods. All of these things sound no. Like, you should just not eat it. Down. Cheers. You're never going to forget that taste. Yeah, ever. forever. We originally started with over 350 disgusting foods and then we narrowed it down to the 80 that we have here today. And the criteria is it has to be a real food appreciated somewhere in the world. The people who come here and visit are adventurous. There's no other place that you can uh, see and sample some of the world's most disgusting foods all in one place. This right here is Casu Marsu. It's a cheese from uh, Sardinia in Italy. And uh, the characteristic of it, well, it's full of maggots. You eat the cheese, the maggots, and the excrement from the maggots, which is a, a delicate, soft, creamy cheese. This is natto. It's fermented soybeans from Japan. It's eaten as a breakfast food, and it's very, very good for you. This is the durian fruit from Southeast Asia. It's a fruit that's called the king of fruits. You either love it, which they do, or if you're not familiar with this fruit, you think it smells like a bag of rotting cats. There's 10 smell stations, and then we have a tasting bar over there where you can sample about 10 of the foods that we have here. Oh, it smells very bad. <laughs> oh my God. No! <laughs> it's mushy and stinky. Here is the durian fruit. Southeast Asia. Oh. Just a little piece. Yeah, this is a little piece. You want to try more? Eat it. <laughs> I can't eat this. This right here is haukat. It's a rotted shark from Iceland. The taste is described as death and ammonia. Uh, Anthony Bourdain called it the single most disgusting thing he's ever tried. I enjoy seeing people try new foods and seeing that sort of element of fear and anticipation and curiosity all at once and then they try it and then, you know, sort of total immersive experience. I enjoy that. And I do enjoy when, you know, somebody is really cocky, like I can eat anything, I can do anything, and then they try the Icelandic shark and I see them, you know, vomit. Uh, that does, that, that, that makes me happy. Can you give me like the tiniest piece? <laughs> I'm so upset right now. <laughs> Smell it. Oh. Like cow chairs. It's really nutty. I don't, I don't want to breathe. It seems like I'm like really mad at you right now. <laughs> Smell it. Oh, God. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. This is so go away. Go, go, Marie, go. Oh my God, that first bite was horrible. <laughs> I'm about to puke. You gotta see your face. Show me. Show I'm me. crying. It tasted like a punch in the face. No, and the punch of the back of the throat. <laughs> yeah. like, that was the worst experience of my life. In Peru, guinea pig isn't disgusting. In France, that nasty cheese isn't disgusting. In China, stinky tofu isn't disgusting. And that's the whole point of the museum to, that you, to help you realize that disgust is always in the eye of the beholder. Um, there is no food that's sort of universally disgusting. I'm glad because we have more knowledge now, but I'm not excited to ever try those things again. <laughs> that taste is going to be with us for the rest of our lives. And I didn't know like taste could make you sweat. <laughs> like you should come. It's an experience. Yeah. And don't eat before you come because you might throw up. Yeah. <laughs>